you know you have been uh, fighting acne for so many years, what are the different types of acne? So essentially acne, there's four types of acne. Um, in between there's subcategory but we won't go through that. Broadly, whiteheads, bumpy skin, if you feel that you know um, your skin is not smooth, there's little bumps on there, that's actually whiteheads. Um, those are considered acne. Yeah, so we have cystic acne, we have pimples, we have blackheads and whiteheads. So basically all these are considered acne. So it's not just like very serious then it's acne. So all these four types of acne, Skinlicious is able to address it. So I need to emphasize that for acne, um, there's actually three types. Like for now I know there's fungal acne. I don't know whether you guys know that, you know, there's fungal, fungus yeast can actually cause acne. Um, there's P. acne bacteria, acne caused by bacteria and there's also acne caused by weakened or sensitive skin. And all this require a different approach. So, I have the Glow Exfoliant and the Clarifying Wonder. Serum. So for Glow Exfoliant, it's actually an acids base. This works for the bacteria as well as fungal acne. So this Glow Exfoliant, is, um, it has salicylic acid and mandelic acid. So this actually helps to kill P. acne bacteria. It also helps to kill away the fungus that actually causes acne. Um, clarifying serum is vitamins based. This is um, yeah, vitamin C and vitamin B3. Is the clarifying serum same as the blemish corrector? Thank um, you, Sherry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we changed the name of uh, Blemish Corrector to Clarifying Serum because um, we need to... There's some international regulations we need that, we, that we have to use Clarifying Serum, yeah. So, but it's the same thing. It still stabilizes vitamin C and vitamin B3. What's the difference between the Hydrating Serum and the Barrier Booster Moisturizer? Can okay. you use either one or use both? What, what should we uh, do? Yeah. Basically, Hydrating Serum is to add water into your skin. And then the moisturizer, okay, the, the difference is that, you know, hydrating serum is sodium hyaluronate and a natural moisturizing factor. hydrating serum? Yeah, this is the hydrating serum. So it actually adds water into your skin. <laughs> then the moisturizer, it actually contains four plant extracts, some um, co-pressed plant oils, and as well as ceramides. Ceramides are really important to actually build up your skin barrier. So what you will do is hydrate your skin and then you moisturize. This has a little bit of oil, um, it has ceramides, it has plant extract. So it basically helps to build up your skin barrier. So it boosts your skin barrier and it seals the moisture in. So for people with oily skin, um, like myself, I actually can't use the Barrier Booster Moisturizer layered on to Hydrating Serum. So, Hydrating Serum is my must-have. And then for Barrier Booster Moisturizer, what I do is I actually pump a little bit into my Hydrating Serum, mix it and then apply on the whole face because if I use this neat, that means if I apply this and then I layer on, um, it will be too oily for me. There's actually oil, a little bit of oil in there, but that oil is suitable for acne prone skin. I specially selected oils that are suitable for acne prone skin and it is beneficial to acne prone skin. So that's the difference between hydrating serum and barrier booster moisturizer. Um, they complement one another. Um, so it depends on your skin type. And this has very good anti aging properties. So as we age, right? Um, ceramides are like the glue that holds our skin to cells together. So as we age, we lose ceramides. So by adding Barrier Booster Moisturizer in, you actually kind of like add glue into your skin. Yeah. Uh, she has been using the Glow Exfoliant and Blemish Corrector to try and fade off the past red acne marks, but she still see, she sees some lightening of the marks after two months plus, and she needs to know how long more she has to wait uh, for the full fading of the marks. Thanks, Bernice, for a question. Um, Bernice, it's very hard to answer because everybody is different. Um, like our skin cell turnover is different. Um, what happens is the Glow Exfoliant and Blemish Corrector actually helps to speed up the skin cell turnover so you see your mark lightening. Um, you just have to continue to use and it will lighten. Yeah. Um, if you really, really want it to be faster, then you will have to go to an aesthetic doctor and probably do uh, aesthetic procedures like laser to really lighten it. What if I have uh, combination skin? Stress, adult, pimples, acne. I'm currently using the blemish serum mixed with the hydrating serum. 
would it be okay to also pump in a little of the barrier booster, booster moisturizer? moisturizer? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, that's what I do. I'm a very lazy person, so <laughs> I actually just mix the three of them together and apply on my whole face. Also, because barrier booster moisturizer, I cannot use it neat, so I have to dilute it down. So when I mix it with hydrating serum, it actually dilutes it. And then for Clarifying Serum is now a uh, blemish character has been named Clarifying Serum. Clarifying Serum, the vitamin C and the vitamin B3 in there is really has super lots of benefit, not just only clearing acne, it has anti-aging, it has yeah, it has so many benefits like reduces appearance of large pores. Yeah, so you can actually mix it in and it will actually give you a super super potent serum. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so Jasmine, you mentioned like there's many different uh, types of acne. How do you know which product like works for your skin? So, unless you go for a swab test like with a dermatologist, then you'll be able to see whether it's fungus or bacteria. But we have an easier way. Skinlicious came out with our proprietary half-face test, whereby you can actually do half-face. So what you do is your first step, you'll take your cleanser and wash your whole face. And then the second step, you will take the glow exfoliant and dot on your acne just on your left side of your face and then you use hydrating serum on your whole face to hydrate your whole face and then the fourth step you use clarifying serum on your right side yeah so when you first come to Skinlicious right if you are a new user to Skinlicious I actually don't want you to get the big products don't get the big products I only want you to either get the essential starter kit or the complete starter kit it is very important that you try Glow Exfoliant and Clarifying Serum separately. Why? Because as you can see, for the half face test, so when you come onto our store, we'll ask you to test. One side is Glow Exfoliant, one side is Clarifying Serum. So some of you ask me if my left, right, right, it's not evenly spread out the acne. So just find like maybe up, down. So basically you have to test it separately. And this is what happened, this customer Text us and said he had more acne and we asked for you know the pictures and this came out and immediately you can see that step one three four when he used clarifying serum his acne has already actually flattened whereas for glow exfoliant it actually flare up and then there's more pus and pimples in the past I would have thought this is purging but actually I don't think we actually need to go through purging. So if you find the right products that are suitable for you, there's really no need to go through purging. So that's why you need to test separately. And both works very well for me. Clarifying Serum came because one of the fellow acne fighter, Jin Qi. So Jin Qi actually helped us develop um, the image corrector, yeah. So you identify which spot treatment suits you. If that works, great. I'm very happy for you. If it doesn't, then how? There's three types of acne, there's fungal, there's bacteria and there's another one that is the weakened skin barrier, sensitive skin acne and this is actually developed with Irene. This is the soothing cleansing gel. So basically you can see she was having very big acne as well and then she couldn't use a lot of things. In the end, the soothing cleansing gel and hydrating serum help her clear her skin. And she's not the only one. We have other successful cases like this lady, she was breaking out with both, like both spot treatment didn't help to flatten the acne. So with this small clear skin essential starter kit, you should experience like less oiliness, less redness and your existing acne flattening with the correct spot treatment. If the spot treatment doesn't help you, then you probably need to move on to plan B, which maybe is the result of your skin being too weak your barrier is destroyed or too weak, that acne is popping. So all you need to do is really just take a break from any irritants and um, that includes glow exfoliant and basically anything that triggers like retinoid, every, actually any other acne treatment, just stop it. And just use the soothing cleansing gel and your moisturizer and hydrating serum, whatever that suits you. So we have plan A and plan B for you. And even plan A, you have two types of spot treatment that you need to test. So that, that is where Skinlicious is different because I have interacted with so many acne fighters and I myself as an acne fighter, I know. And all these have been tried and tested by acne fighters, yeah. So for back knee, right, I would actually um, ask you to, okay, use... First of all, you need to identify what is causing your back knee first. 
Because if you use an anti-any product but you don't know what's your root cause, then it will just keep recurring. So you have to be a little bit more sensitive on whether your skin condition improves or not. Um, so for back knee, if you are using too rich a body wash, that might be your problem. Um, and then for, hair, uh, for girls with long hair, if you are using conditioner and letting it rest on your back, that is your problem as well because it clogs, it's too rich and it just clogs up your pores. And hygiene, so let's say if you exercise and then you don't clean up fast enough, then maybe that's your problem as well. So what you can do if, let's say you can't shower, right? Uh, but after you exercise, you can actually just take a wet towel and just wipe down your back so that it doesn't come back. And then fabric, wear breathable fabric so that your, your skin can breathe. So that's for back knee, but what can you do when you have back knee already? So you can actually, okay, what, what you do is after you wash with your normal body wash, don't use a rich moisturising body wash. And then you use the coming cleanser, and then you just wash it again. And then you use glow exfoliant and dab it, dab on the acne and it will calm it down. Um, at the back, it's a bit hard, you might need somebody to help you, but when I had back knee, these two products are the one that helped me clear my back acne. Yeah, I got my mom to actually dab, dab, dab for me wow, to clear the acne. Really? Yeah, and it never came back. And, I, and that's how I also realised that if I use too rich a moisturiser, I tend to get back acne. For people with acne prone skin, especially myself, I've tried so many products, uh, so many, uh, when I formulate the products, right, I actually, actually cleansers are the hardest to formulate. They, so many surfactants, which are the cleansing agents, actually make my skin so oily, like oil up the next day. So the concentration matters and all these products, their concentrations have been adjusted such that it doesn't oil me up, so it will not oil you up. So a lot of people who come and use Skinicious, they will notice that their skin doesn't oil up that easily. And we don't add you know, oil controlling ingredients. It's all just adjusting the concentration of the ingredients. Whiteheads, actually quite simple. Actually, whiteheads are one of the I find easiest like, compared to blackheads. Blackheads are very stubborn. Um, and it takes a while longer. So blackheads, glow exfoliant works the best. Um, whiteheads, it can clarify serum or glow exfoliant might work for you. And the reason for whiteheads, the reason for acne for most of us is because um, we have oily skin and then our skin clogs up and this clog becomes whitehead or blackhead and then if bacteria in fact, then it will actually lead to pus and then cystic acne. So if we nip acne in the bud at the whitehead and the blackhead stage, don't let it progress to pimple, don't let it progress to cystic acne, uh, that would be the best. Yeah, because after cystic acne is scar. Scar is even worse, it's so hard to treat. Yeah, so um, yeah, so it's important that you know you try to nip acne in the bud, especially mummies who are listening. I know there are some of you buying for your teenagers, even tweens. I get a lot of questions asking, uh, can Skinicious products be used on teenagers, on tweens? Yes, it can, yeah. So, but importantly, it's always do the half-face test. <laughs> Anybody who comes, do the half-face test, yeah, so that you can identify which spot corrector suits you. How to get rid of back knee scars? Um, scars. For back knee scars, that part, it depends on what kind of scars. Likewise for face as well, if it's those pitted scars with you know, dents and all this, it's really, really hard to get rid of. You need to go to doctors to go through some procedures, lasers and multiple sessions of it before you can actually have smoother skin. Otherwise, you just use glow exfoliant. It will help to lighten the, the marks. I will call it marks. Like, those red brown marks, right? They are not scars because they will fade. Yeah. Scars are really permanent, which are those pitted scars. Yeah. How do you use the product if you have fungal acne? For fungal acne, I would say you can never be sure that you are suffering from fungal acne until you send it for a lab test. So the best is actually just use this, our essential starter kit. Just try our starter kit and try two sides. Uh, the half face test and see which spot treatment works for you. For fungal acne, glow exfoliant will actually clear fungal acne. So uh, whether it's bacterial acne or fungal acne, 
we have products to clear it. Will your cleanser work for acne prone skin that is very dry on the surface but oily at the same time? Oily at the same time. Very dry on the surface, oily at the same time. It will actually like um I think my customers will know, like most of them will say, oh, you know, they do not feel dry, tight feeling after using our cleansers. Uh, because I do add moisturizing agents into the, the both cleansers that I have. So we have two types of cleansers. One is calming cleanser. This is the basic cleanser with calamine. Um, and then we have soothing cleansing gel, which removes makeup and sunscreen. And it's also for those with weakened skin barrier and sensitive skin. How long does the mini kits last? A uh, mini kit lasts about 5 to 7 days but that is good enough for you to identify whether the products are helping you or not. It will not clear your acne uh, but it just helps you to identify which spot treatment suits you and then from then on you can continue the big one. Uh, get the big ones and continue for 2-3 to three months. In 2-3 to three months you should be able to at least have much much lesser acne breakouts. I have an 11 year old uh, daughter, what products are suitable for acne, white, blackheads prevention? Um, same thing, you just have to use um, this. The, just try the mini kit and then see which spot treatment suits her better. Yeah, so basically once you identify the spot treatment um, that suits her, clear her acne, she can continue to use um, the calming cleanser and the hydrating serum as maintenance. Yeah, so, so once your acne is clear, right, you can continue to use Skinlicious products to maintain acne-free skin. If you look at the ingredients, right, they are actually um, normal skin can be used. Yeah, we don't add acne-fighting ingredients into every product. Um, so only the main clearing acne is actually clarifying serum and glow exfoliant. Yeah. Is it sufficient to just depend on the spot treatments to remove the acne or should we combine with extraction in facials? Um, when you start using Skinlicious, I would encourage you not to go for extractions, not to go for facials. Extractions, if done wrongly by the therapist, it actually makes it worse. When I had acne, I actually signed up like thousand over dollars packages but my acne was so bad, it was here all red and then when I went for extraction I was literally crying because it was so painful and then my face was swollen and red after I came out of the came out of the salon I still remember like I always looked down on the floor because I was so afraid people looking at me um, so don't go for extractions because if they don't do it well it will spread to their sides as well and then it will leave scars worse pitted scars um, just use the spot treatment let it run its course so that you will have lesser chances of scarring, like really having deep pitted scars. Okay. If both spot treatments work fine on the acne marks and oil production, we can just continue to apply all the products? Yeah, yeah, yes you can. Um, so basically, let me share with you my skincare routine. Um, yeah, so I'll share with you my skincare routine, okay? Um, in the day, I will use my calming cleanser. And then, because I don't have acne anymore, I don't exfoliate in the daytime. So a lot of people make the mistake by exfoliating too much and then you weaken your skin barrier too much. So very important, don't exfoliate too much. So like for spot treatments, um, glow exfoliant, I also tell you when you first start, twice a day on the spots, not on the whole face. Um, so just if it's spot treatment, you have to do it twice a day, otherwise the bacteria will just grow, so that's why it's twice a day. Um, so what is the step one? And then step two will be hydrating serum, mixed with clarifying serum and barrier booster moisturizer. So cleanse, and then I combine this three into my super serum and apply it together, and then my sunscreen. So that's my morning routine. Um, I think, I don't know if you guys miss it, but uh, basically I've already explained why I mixed it. And then for night time, I will use the soothing cleansing gel to remove the sunscreen. And then I will do a double cleanse with calming cleanser to make sure that it's thoroughly cleansed. It's very important that you thoroughly cleanse it, otherwise clocks will form and then acne will form. And then I will use glow exfoliant to exfoliate uh, my whole face. 
three to five times a week if I go out and wear masks, I will definitely exfoliate that night um, because when I wear masks, um, there's actually clots forming underneath already so I really need to exfoliate otherwise I'll have pimples um, so this is my step two and then step three will be again this three combined and that's it what, which products help with pigmentation? Um, pigmentation, first of all, you need to put on sunscreen so that your pigmentation don't get worse and also this too Clarifying Serum and Glow Exfoliant will help in your pigmentation, lightening of pigmentation because they accelerate skin cell turnover so they will actually um, like, you know, move your pigment up yeah. Do you have any stores in Malaysia? Uh, Lam is asking. Chai no, Lam is we asking. don't, but we ship directly from Singapore to Malaysia and um, on non holidays time, um, it actually takes about three days to reach you. Um, so it's pretty fast, and then we ensure that stocks are fresh. So, um, Chuan Lang, are you based in Malaysia? Like, which part of Malaysia? Let us know. Um, so, basically, what happens is that uh, Jasmine, uh, she, she can ship the products over to you. If she's in Malaysia, she can't use our Singapore Shopee. So, she, so she can only order on our website, oh, okay. skinlicious.com. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, um, yeah, the voucher you can use for skin, uh, to order on skinlicious.com and then we will ship from Singapore to Malaysia. Uh, we have quite... A base in Malaysia as well so no worries the product will definitely reach you will definitely pass customs can I use my fingers the answer is no uh, because the dabbing action actually helps in absorption of the exfoliation um, so if let's say if you have normal skin you also need to exfoliate because as we grow older um, our skin cells actually um, at, by age 25, our skin cell starts to age. So, and then that means that you know your skin cell turnover is actually slower, your skin gets dull. Um, so, when you do exfoliation, it helps to remove the surface dead skin cell, and then you will see the healthy glow. So, actually, all the products here can be used by all skin types.